Alright guys, some setup tips for the Banded Smith Machine Skull Crusher or the Banded Smith Machine J-Press. You see this slant? You see this slant? We're going to be facing this direction on the back. Okay? We'll be facing that direction. Look at the top of the slant. That's the direction we're facing. For the bands, for the bands, ideally your Smith Machine is set up like this where you have to uncork it and you have to rotate the bar to the direction of the top of the slant. Ideally, you have this set up. So again, with the Smith Crusher or the Jam Press, we're corking our wrist like this. So you want to ideally turn the bar in the direction of the cork. And you also want the bar rotating with the band tension that direction, because you don't want to have to fight that. So come here, Ben. Look at this. So what that means is when I'm setting up these bands, you want it to come from this direction, okay? Boom. So what this means is, okay? So what this means is the band tension is pulling it a little bit more that way. Okay, it's pulling a little bit more that way. Now, actually, I think Addy's is right. You typically might want an adjustable bench because look, it's gonna lift the bar off the ground or lift the bench off the ground. So what you can also do is you could put like some weight on it or something like that, but I'd recommend using a really heavy adjustable bench. Otherwise, look what happens. It gets lifted off the ground. So what you could do is you could either put, put a dumbbell right here and bring the bench more like this. So at least that's balanced. So you might have to use the, the middle of a bench. We're kind of learning as we go, right? So again, bring it up from this side. Round it over. Attach this right here. Good? Alright, so, you see that? Right in the center. So now, going, put it wide enough, set up, cork your wrist, and then keep them corked towards the ceiling as you go down like this. And keep your elbows high. Maybe you want to lower it to your, to your clavicle or your neck, more of a jam press style. Fine. Maybe you want to lower it more to your nose or your forehead. That's fine too. Again, cork your wrist like this, okay? You don't want to press it up like this. Cork it like this. Okay? Don't let the elbows drop down. Don't let them drop down this way or this way. They're going to drop down a little bit, but you still want to keep them high. And as they naturally drop slightly, while you're resisting them dropping, keep them at a 45 degree angle. Okay? So again, like this. Here we go. Alright, that's the setup. Let me know if you guys have any questions.